Hey everyone, it's Mr. Wistar again. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to use the Boolean connectors, and this will complete our uh, tour of how to write Boolean um, expressions. Uh, if you combine this lesson with the lesson about how to use Boolean comparison operators and how to use Boolean comparison methods, you really should have all the tools you need in your toolbox to write any sort of um, test expression to use with your if statements or your loops. So just as an overview we're going to talk about what it means to be a Boolean connector and then we're going to talk about the three types of Boolean connectors that you can use in your program which are not and an or. And we'll take a look at an example for putting them all together and then the last thing we'll talk about is a, a special case of using Boolean connectors called short circuit evaluation. So what's a Boolean connector? A Boolean connector in short is an operator that allows you to modify the truth value of a Boolean expression. Most of the time it's what we call a binary connector in that it connects two other expressions together with the exception of not which is uh, a unary uh, operator which just flips the value of one Boolean expression from true to false or false to true. Why do we use them? Well we use them because a lot of times you need to create a more sophisticated Boolean test. So if we wanted to say, for example, um, if it's Monday and it's after 8 o'clock, then I'd better get up. Well, that's an example of a Boolean expression that we would need to use the connector AND for. Just listen to the way that you speak. Most of the time, if you find yourself using um, the words AND or 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 NOT, those are all important uh, parts of your verbal syntax that need to make it into the syntax of your Boolean expression. Okay, let's start with not, because it is kind of the oddball in that it's a unary operator. It only applies to one single Boolean expression, and it reverses its original truth value. So if we have the expression 6 is less than 7, which is true, and we put a not in front of it, which is the exclamation point, then the value of that expression, not 6 less than 7, is false and vice versa. If we start with a false expression and put a not in front of it, we'll get a true. Moving on, uh, we come to the first of our two binary connectors uh, and that's the AND operator. And the important thing to notice and remember is that this binary connector has two ampersands. There is an operator out there that has one ampersand, but it's not the binary connector something completely different that won't help you at all. Um, so if you want to say and, it's uh, and and. A lot of times that's the way that I say it, but um, if you want to connect two uh, expressions uh, with the and operator, you have to write ampersand ampersand. And what that means, what the and operator means is it's true if both of the expressions that it connects are also true. If either one of them is false, then the entire AND expression is false. So if you take a look down here, um, in the first case both parts are true, so the AND is true, and in the second and third cases either the first part or the second part is false, which makes the whole thing false. For OR, um, OR is similar to AND, they're both binary connectors, but they are mirror images of each other. Um, whereas AND is only true if um, both parts of it are true, or is only false if both parts of it are false. If either or both of the two parts that are connected by the or are true, then the whole expression is true. And this is what we call the inclusive or. In other words, it's uh, either or both can be true in order to make the or true. So here we have a couple of examples where um, the first two expressions, either part is true, so the whole thing is true. Only in the last expression, where both parts are false, is the OR expression false. You can take these connectors and all of the other operators and methods we talked about, and you can combine them as much as you want, as long as you follow the rules and you make sure that each part that you're attaching the connector to is also a Boolean expression. Um, the resulting value will be a Boolean expression. 
And it's also important to understand how Java decides to evaluate that expression. It uses something called the rules of precedence, which is kind of like PEMDAS, which you're used to in math. You know, parentheses come first, and then multiplication, division, and addition, subtraction. In the case of Boolean connectors, there's a very specific op uh, order. It's not, then and, then or. So, unless you're using parentheses, all the nots are going to take place before the ands, um, and the ands are going to take place before the ors. So, here's an example, uh, which we'll take a look at. So, here. Just notice that I haven't been expanding this, so let's expand it. Okay. So, here's a Boolean expression. Okay, let's not try to do that. Let's take this expression and see if we can figure out what its ultimate truth value is. So, we're going to start with this, and let's see what we can evaluate. Well, num less than 100, I can definitely evaluate since num is equal to 47. This expression is going to reduce to true. Num percent 2, again, since 47, uh, num is 47, 47 percent 2 is going to evaluate to 1. And now let's go to the next step. So in the next step, we've got true and not 1 equals 0. Well, 1 is equal to 0. That's false. So, we've got that. Let's keep going. Okay, here's the first case where we have to worry about precedence, because we have an AND and we have a NOT. But we know that the NOT comes first according to precedence. So, NOT FALSE, we can rewrite as TRUE. Now we're only left with one operator. Well, it turns out, according to our definitions for the rules of AND, TRUE AND TRUE is TRUE. So that's a step-by-step -step, uh, recounting for how Java would evaluate that Boolean expression. Okay, the last part has to do with this thing called short circuit evaluation. So, or short circuit execution here. And what that means, in essence, is that when you're dealing with AND or OR, as soon as Java can figure out what the value of the AND or OR is, it's going to stop. And if that means that it only has to look at the first half, then it's not even going to look at the second half. So if you think about it, in the case of AND, short circuit evaluation would happen if the first part was false. Because if the first part of an AND is false, then you know that the whole thing is false. The opposite is true with OR. If the first part of an OR is true, then you don't have to look at the second part because you know that the OR is true. This is important to consider because in some cases, some people like to use this to their advantage to kind of uh, check to make sure that bad things don't happen. So you can see an example here where we have some code where we want to check to see what the length of a string is, but we don't know if it's been defined yet. Well, you could say if word not equals null and the length of the word is greater than 2. Well, if the word hasn't been defined yet, then the first part of that is going to be false, and we're not going to have to worry about our program crashing when we call the method um, on a variable that doesn't isn't defined yet. Now it's up to you. I still think that's kind of a risky proposition, um, but it is certainly way safer than just checking to see what the length of the word is. So you can sometimes use short circuit evaluation to your advantage if you want to make sure that your program uh, won't crash. So what did we talk about in this lesson? We talked about the purpose for having Boolean connectors, they allow us to put together multiple expressions or change the value of a given Boolean expression. Uh, we talked about the three different kinds of connectors. There's NOT, AND, and OR. And then we talked lastly about um, how they're evaluated relative to each other using precedence and how to um, understand how short circuit ev evaluation works in the case of AND and OR. Okay, you're all set.